Some free stuff for Halo Infinite was recently given out that you might have missed. You can play Call of Duty's campaign early, that's actually happening, and Dragon Ball Z is in Fortnite, and a whole lot more, so let's get right into these details. So if you checked your inventory recently, you might have gotten some free challenge swaps as well as XP boosts. Recently there was a bug that with the Season 1 that Battle Pass, you couldn't have your fourth challenge even if you bought into it, which was the perk of buying into the Battle Pass in the first place. This is recently tweeted out saying this week Halo Infinite Drop, Drop Pod resolved an issue with the fourth challenge slot that was introduced in season two. Today, the team granted 20 challenge swaps and 10 XP boosts to all players who own season one premium battle pass and signed in between May 3rd and August 9th. So your time is gone now if you haven't bought into the season one battle pass, but if you bought season one battle pass and played any of season two of Halo Infinite, you have these extra little bits of goodies for you guys. And it's update day, so let's take a look what's happening within the store of Halo Infinite. We have some returning items and some new items in here as well. We have the Liberty Clad setup that we had, I think I better, if I remember correctly, back in the 4th of July weekend. Well, this has come back for us guys in the Entrenched weekend, as this is Entrenched week number four, if I remember correctly, right here. We also have the Grim Fortress, which does have a cool like chrome and blue effect to it. Also has an assault rifle coating tied to it as well, similar kind of style there. We have the Frontier Rider, which has a you know, kind of standard like gray, green, and brown kind of coating with it. We also have like a reference to Rosie the Riveter, but in a Cortana form, which actually is kind of a fun uh, callback to that old World War II propaganda right there as well. Those all coming for 700, 300, 600, and 300 credits, but I'm sure the new thing you guys are all interested in is the March of War. We're finally having this come into the store now. Sadly enough though, I can't really see it because of the way the preview is within the game here, but um, you know, with my recent gold coating that I picked up right here that I might pass on this one. I'm not super crazy about it, but it does look pretty cool. If you're into that kind of stuff, definitely check it out. And like I said, guys, it is another week of the Fracture event for Entrenched. And guess what we're playing? You'll never guess what we're playing, guys. It's Land Grab and nothing's changed beyond that it's just land grab you know how it goes and also we have the you know challenges you can go through right here as well we have a new coating which is pretty sweet right here this is the Kowalind strand which is like this coating it looks all right nothing too crazy in my opinion it just kind of looks like yellow for the most part but kind of like a darker coloring of it but it has a little bit of a gray accents to it so it looks all right it might actually be something that i might actually grind out for for this weekend but that's what you got for you guys for the weekly ultimate challenge I just wish that 343 would do something a little to mix up these events when it comes to these fracture events because these are going to be returning things throughout the rest of the seasons coming forward with Halo. I understand having some continuity between the events as well. So then you kind of have the same experience and also kind of have the players who play a little bit more casually catch up the players like me who just can't wait to absorb as much Halo content as possible. But we saw with like the Team Snipers players where they recently updated where 75% of the time you're actually getting Team Snipers but there's also the Shoddy Snipes and also the Mangler Skewer mix in there as well. It'd be nice to see some kind of mix up in there. Maybe just change the loadouts or something or maybe have much more of a Fiesta style version of Land Grab to kind of just mix it up a little bit to have some more variety when it comes to coming back to these events because right now like I have like no motivation to jump into these fracture events once i grind through the entirety of the battle pass and i feel like i'm really kind of only doing it just to get the stuff from the battle pass this is something that i was bringing up back in season one but i don't really see a lot of this changing so these events are going to be kind of more just like eh until we get some really good updates when it comes to halo infinite a recent update that fortnite brings dragon ball z into Fortnite. This is pretty crazy. You actually play as the characters as well. Use the Kamiami oh, kind of stuff. Zap players on the level. Kind of similar to like how like the Thanos event was, but this time with Dragon Ball Z. There's some unique quests, characters on the map, and things like that. Some map changes and some really cool stuff coming. So if you guys are interested in Dragon Ball Z and Fortnite, definitely worth checking out this update. And content creator Hugh Moran shows us how it's done in Fortnite with this new update. Now are you sick of Marvel and video games? Well, me either actually. And there is actually going to be a really cool announcement happening on September 9th with the Disney and Marvel Games Showcase happening on September 9th, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard, 4 p.m. Eastern in the U.S. here. This is going to be a really big announcement. A lot of great stuff here. A lot of stuff that people are looking forward to when it comes to Marvel and Disney when it comes to games specifically. 
and we have some information to share with you guys about that. On Windows Central, they confirmed from the press release that there will be some new announcements at the show, saying like new content for LEGO Star Wars, the Skywalker Saga, and information about Marvel's Midnight Suns, which was recently delayed sometime before March 2023. And it has been confirmed that there will be a first look at a new Marvel game from Skydance New Media and a former Uncharted director, Amy Henney. The game is being described as a blockbuster action adventure game. I know a lot of people saying they have Marvel fatigue. I've definitely experienced it as well, but sometimes they do it just right. And I'm definitely looking forward to some of these games to see if anything interesting pops up from this announcement. If anything does, you know I'll share with you guys here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe to stay up to date. Now mine and a lot of people out there, most anticipated game this fall is is Modern Warfare 2. And we have some big news just dropped out. You can play the campaign a week early legitimately. This isn't some weird hack or something like that. Recently announced that you have campaign early access if you pre-order Modern Warfare 2. This might actually get my pre-order. I hate pre-ordering just because it kind of buys into more scummy tactics to get people to get their money early. But this is our first look actually at some new campaign content since we had the reveal earlier this year. And this does look really amazing. I'm very excited for this game. I cannot wait to jump in and play some Modern Warfare 2 campaign. Modern Warfare 2019's campaign was one of my favorite Call of Duty campaigns of all time. It was such a great experience. I'm actually currently working on a video doing a large scale review of the campaign, kind of doing some more historical and technical advancements that they made with that campaign specifically that I wanted to share with you guys. It's going to be a big video, but I'm hoping to get it out before the betas for Modern Warfare 2 come out. So hopefully sometime in early September. Continuing on with Call of Duty news, it looks like Zombies story will conclude. Well, at least for this season. Right now, Treyarch Studios just tweeted this out saying that the Horde effects must die and Vanguard Zombies concludes in season five with the Archon. Now I know that Vanguard Zombies hasn't really been that well received within the community. It's probably one of the more bare bones, lackluster ones we've ever had, but I think this kind of showcases that Call of Duty and Activision as a whole are ramping up for Modern Warfare 2. They sound like they're all hands on deck for this game because this game for Modern Warfare 2 is going to be the game for the next two years for Call of Duty. It's the first time we haven't had a successor after the year year of release of a first game in a very long time. Call of Duty also recently revealed some actual gameplay of the multiplayer within the game. We're obviously just a player walking around in a level, but it's showcasing the map Farm 18. And there's some issues that the community has had some concerns about this video itself. I do cover it in a video on this channel. I'll have a link at the end of this video. If you want to know more about Farm 18 from Modern Warfare 2 or see Joe Sustain's reaction to all the Forge leaks happening with Halo Infinite, check out this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.